Hey, I'm at YouTube this week, which is so exciting because I'm doing this collab with Jenny from Origami Tree and she's also at YouTube next week. We're both part of the Next Up 2016 program. Very exciting. And we're both gonna show you how to make different unicorn bookmarks. Anyway, let's get started. So today, we are going to make these really sweet unicorn corner bookmarks. As you know, the book goes in like this. I'll show you actually. Get a book. Oh, it happens to be my art book, obviously. And we put the little corner bookmark here. And you have the little horse's head and the unicorn head poking out. So really cute to make. Remember, we have Jenny from Origami Tree over here and she'll be showing us later, I'll be linking it at the end of the video, how to make an origami unicorn bookmark. This one, it kind of starts off as origami. It's a great introduction to origami, but obviously because we're doing some cutting and sticking, it's not quite just origami. So what you will need is a sheet of A4 paper. Um, you can make two uh, unicorns out of one sheet and you fold it in half. Let me put these to the side. You fold it in half, like so. and then you cut it in half, and each sheet will be one unicorn. Basically, we're trying to, I'm currently creating a square sheet of paper. If you've got a square sheet of paper already, say from an origami kit, that's great. And if you don't, this is how you get your square sheet of paper. Now, you then take, I'm cut it very neatly, but it's okay. You take this corner and bring it up, like so. Make a nice, neat point, like so and then you cut along here. So now you have your square piece of paper and actually you have your first fold. Because if you've got a normal piece of paper, you now have to bring this corner up to create this fold, okay? So this is the first fold. Next, you will take this corner and bring it over here. Let me just bring this little unicorn so you can see him. It's quite cute, there we go. Uh, you still can't see him, there we go, you can see them now. Bring this corner over here. Create a straight line down. Bring this corner up. And a straight, oopsie, straight line in the middle. Now you need to fold it open again and you've got this sort of square triangle a bit. It's a bit bright in here so you can't always see the lines but I think you can just about make it out. Here there's two sheets of paper. You take the top one only and you fold it down to the middle, right? So the point comes right down and lines up neatly. So you've got a straight line here and a straight, and then going across. Take this point, bring it up, and then tuck it under, okay? Tuck it in. And then you do the same over here. Bring it up. And this is your basic bookmark shape. So you are right? So at this point, you have already got a bookmark. It's just not decorated. So now we want to decorate it to turn it into these little unicorns. So I'm going to make this blue one again, just because it's a little bit easier. Well, not easier actually, just because I like it. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blue piece of paper and I'm going to cut a triangle across. Now, if you don't have another colour of paper, that's fine. Just use a pencil or a pen. You know, just colour it in. You could even colour in a little rainbow or something. You know, whatever you want. But you do need to have a block colour. Now I'm cutting a triangle that's bigger, because I just find that easier. And then, because I'm then going to trim it. So now I put glue all over, right to the edges, especially with this pointy bit here, because you want a nice, neat stick. So glue it on, like so. And take it right to the edge, as neat as possible. Line it up, like so. And then trim it off. Now you've got the beginnings of your horse shape, okay? So you've got a little horse facing that way. If you want the horse to face the other way, you put the blue bit down here. So my horse is going to be facing that way. Now I take my little scissors, just because I find them a bit easier to cut with, and I'm going to cut like a, a rounded bit here. You might have seen me do that with some of the other corner bookmarks. In fact, if you want to see my other corner bookmarks, iCard over here, check it out. I've got loads of designs for you. So I've got the shape, but it's still not quite a horsey nose shape. So I'm just going to, now I've rounded it, I'm going to just cut in a little bit more into the middle. Snip that 
Oh. Is there? This is why it's not actually origami, because I'm sticking and I'm cutting, but the basic shape is. And now I want to even this out just so it doesn't look silly. I'm just going to cut that straight down. Okay, so now you have that basic face. Now I want to do the same with the ear. I'm going to just cut a little bit in, like so. It's actually like a little triangle that you're snipping out. And then, because the, the head of the horse doesn't go all the way up to its ear, but about to about here, I'm going to cut that little bit off here, just to kind of shape it. And then if you want, you can round the ear a bit, but you don't, you know, you don't really have to. And there you have your basic horse shape. So if you wanted to make a horse bookmark, you're actually more or less finished. You just need to decorate it now. Um, but we're going to make a unicorn, so obviously there's a tiny bit more decorating to do. So the next thing I'm going to do, take a pen, this is just a black biro, do a little eye, like so, and a little nostril, like so. Then I'm going to take um, my pink. You don't have to use pink, I'm just doing it because I like it. I'm going to put a little bit in my ear. Cheek again, you don't have to add a cheek. And then I've got a gold pen here. If you don't have a gold pen, um, you can, for example, with this one, uh, add some rainbow hair, or you just have black mane, or, or cut out some gold and make a gold um, mane. So really work with what you've got. I do have a gold pen, so I'm using this because I like it, but of course you don't have to. And because unicorns are special, I'm doing like these S's with a little twirl in them. So lots of little S's, or medium sized S's. Different sizes, so a smaller one, bigger one. S's. Okay, like so. And there you have your basic, really super cute horse. Now I'm going to also put some little stars here. Again, you don't have to, but you can. You can put stickers on, you can leave it plain, you could cut out little white clouds, you know, if your, your unicorn's flying in the air. So, you know, just decorate it if you want, you don't have to. This one's plain, but I thought this would look quite sweet with some little flowers. And then the very last thing is you need a horn. Now, I do have gold paper, so that's really lucky for me. If you don't have gold paper, you could just use um, a plain white horn with some stripes on it. You can use your gold pen. This is from a birthday party, right? So save things. Uh, this is a party hat, so at Christmas or a birthday party or New Year's Eve party, you can save stuff like this and add them to your craft box. This would be a great horn. But I'm not using this now because it's more likely that you do have some gold paper. But you could use maybe some aluminium foil from the kitchen and do like a little silver one. Um, so really, look at what you've got, and I'm sure you can find something that would make a really nice horn. Um, I think a, a, like a white one with some sort of diagonal lines would look quite good too. So now I'm going to cut this into like a cone. It did take me several goes to come up with the width I was happy with. The first couple of unicorns I made I had really fat horns and it didn't look right. So I think, I think this is nice, so I'm going to stick this on. There you have your unicorn bookmark. Now, remember, I have Jenny over here with her beautiful origami unicorn. You have to check it out. And remember, both Jenny and I are part of the YouTube Next Up program, which hopefully means we'll be bringing you lots, lots, lots more of fabulous craft videos shot in a very good quality. Who knows? Just tell me what you'd like me to do differently and what you're enjoying seeing. But thank you again for watching. Without you, I wouldn't be on the Next Up program and it's been such an, such an exciting time. Anyway, hope you like these. Subscribe, tell your friends, and see you here again soon. Bye.